Introducing the all new Corolla. A 62 year tradition continued Tuesday with the Air Force completing its first missions for Operation Christmas Drop. The operation brings food, water, medical, and school supplies, as well as toys, to the islanders in Micronesia. The drop is a collaborative effort between the Air Force, the University of Guam, and the local community. During the push ceremony to kick off this year's operation, Associate Director for the Telecommunications and Distance Learning Operation at UOG, Manny Hachinova, said the mission does much more than bring gifts to the remote Pacific Islands, it also saves lives. A couple years ago, Christmas Drop Operation was timely. The tiny island of Yap had a medical emergency. Dengue fever had spread out through most of its population. They needed medical supplies. They needed IV fluids. Sure, eventful on this island, but when you're a remote island, kind of hard to get. Who stepped up to the plate? Operation Christmas Drop. We had birds in the sky, and they said, we can make the drop, just give us the package. And we did. We saved lives in Yap that year. The first flight was over greater Micronesia, which drops to the islands of Ipilik, Farulep, and Fiji. Back on the ground after the first flight Tuesday, Flight Commander Colonel Robert Blake called the mission a 100% success. It was fantastic today. We ended up getting both airplanes off. Uh, they hit all the drop zones and all the islands and uh, everybody recovered the bundles and everybody uh, everybody got the goods they were looking for. So, Colonel Blagg is also the commander of the 374th Operation Group out of Yokota Air Base, Japan, and says Operation Christmas Drop not only allows his airmen to participate in humanitarian relief, it also serves as an important training exercise. There's a lot of uh, restrictions to drop zones and other things uh, when we operate back at home base. So the ability to come out here and to, uh, in a very dynamic environment, servicing a lot of drop zones, uh, coastal drop zones, uh, it provides a tremendous training opportunity for us that we don't ever get to accomplish back home. 39,000 pounds of goods were collected for this year's drop, which will cover a total of 57 islands. The operation continues through next Tuesday. Betsy Brown, PNC News.